What you're seeing in front of you is concrete block, hollow concrete block with various forms of concrete anchors on top. You have some different options. Some are removable, such as these concrete screws. Tapcons is a, one of the probably the most popular brand of concrete screws, but there are other brands. You'll recognize them by this blue coating. There are different sizes. There are different widths and different lengths. Uh, they come much larger than this. The larger one I have right here is a 5 16 down to a small 3 16 And there's pros and cons to each one. Here you have some non-removable anchors. The plastic anchors are generally not removable, not really usable, uh, as are the wedge anchors. Some of these can be very strong. Don't let the small size of these plastic anchors deceive you. They can hold a lot of weight, especially sheer weight. These wedge anchors can also hold a tremendous amount of tension weight. In other words, pull out strength. There's a lot of strength to hold it as something is trying to pull it out. So this can be used on ceilings. The traditional toggle bolt is a possibility. You would just drill a hole for this particular one for the 1 8 toggle bolt you would drill a 3 8 hole. I haven't done that yet in concrete. I want to see how it works and what happens is the toggle will then go all the way through to the hollow part. This is a hollow anchor. It will go to the hollow part, spring open, the toggle will open and then hold tight to the back of the concrete. As long as the other side is smooth and parallel to the surface, it should work. It's especially important for the other side to be smooth and uh, parallel to the wall surface for these flip toggles as well. Otherwise, you might not be able to get the bolt in. But this is a much larger one. This is a snap, a version of the snap or flip toggle. This one requires a half inch hole and then it will go through and then you would pull it tight. That flange, that uh, channel would then go tight to the wall surface and then you would put the bolt in through the what they call the channel or the toggle, through the toggle on the other side and that would be extremely uh, strong. And here's a 3 8 This is a 5 16 They have them as small as a quarter inch. I don't know if they have smaller ones than that, but a quarter inch. Uh, this is a 5 16 and This would be a larger 3 8 3 8 inch by two and a quarter and they hold various different weights. The tools you would need would be some kind of masonry drill. A hammer drill is best. I'm going to use my corded one. It has a key. I think it was a little bit less expensive than a keyless chuck, but they do have ones with keyless chucks and of course ones that aren't corded. I have a Milwaukee hammer drill, but this one, uh, especially drilling larger holes, is just much quicker and much more powerful, much faster. And then you'll need your masonry bits. You can't use regular bits. Make sure your masonry bits are, are sharp. For most of these, would require uh, a quarter inch. Well, actually, it would require from 3 16 3 16 uh, hole actually down to uh, 5 30 seconds for these 3 16 masonry screws. These 3 16 um, anchor will require a 3 16 hole. I believe that one is a 5 16 hole. Uh, same with these. Uh, with the 5 16 you'll need a quarter. Essentially, you need a smaller bit than the anchor for the, uh, the ones with threads, because then the threads will grab onto the concrete around the hole. And these plastic anchors will require a anchor about the same size. And then when you drive the screw in, it will expand and then hold tight to the sides of the hole. This is a TV anchor lag bolt, a TV mount lag bolt, a concrete anchor. These plastic anchors come with most uh, TV mounting kits, but not all. So it's good to have uh, extras on handy on on hand because they can be very handy. I did a t uh, video about the TV mounting that used this uh, TV mounting uh, plastic anchor, that green anchor, and one of these concrete screws, and that was very strong. With three or four of these, uh, that as long as it's installed properly, they can be extremely strong. You can also mount TVs with tap cons, as I showed in another video as well. You don't even need the very large tap cons. In fact, some of the TV mounts uh, won't fit in the holes. See this uh, the quarter inch tap cons fit in the holes for this TV mount. You might get away with putting the 5 16 in uh, some of these mounts with the slots like that. It might barely fit in this particular one. I have used them before. 
and uh, larger TV mounts. But as long as you're getting in at least a one inch embedment, that's really all that's that's uh, recommended. A minimum of one inch. Could be a uh, one and a half inches, but it doesn't have to be that long. If you're installing wood or something, you would use a longer one. And then the threads are at the very bottom. These, uh, the shank can be very long to allow for a larger piece of uh, material. Uh, this flat one, uh, they have the hex head screws with the washer, and then you have the uh, the countersunk uh, flat one that requires a, I think this one requires a number three screw, a number three Phillips. Nope, this one is a star or Torx bit, and then that, what I'm going to do with that one is install a 2x4 to brick, and that'll be a different video, but concept is the same, you're just going to want to have a hole in the material larger than the shank. The threads are not going to go in the wood. It's just going to hold. The threads are only going to go into the masonry and then it's going to hold the material just at the head. Uh, it's a similar concept with the rest of these as well. This particular one you can put, you know, I think that's about a one inch of material and then the threads go um, at least two inches. This particular one, this particular block is two inches thick. So some of these won't even go all the way through. It's important to make sure that you're drilling longer than the screws and then blowing out the dust with some material, with some tool. Uh, other tools you'll need is a uh, personal protective gear. So I, a uh, face mask, you don't want to breathe that stuff in and some kind of ear protection. You don't have to use the larger ones, but yeah, let's get to drilling. To drive the concrete screws, you would need various sizes, uh, one quarter nut driver for the small 3 16th uh, hex head concrete screws, and a 5 16th nut driver for the quarter inch, and then a 3 8 inch nut driver for the 5 16th concrete screw, and then a number three for this, number three Phillips for this number, th uh, number 12 screw, and then this is just a regular number two Phillips for the bolt for the uh, toggle bolt and then uh, seven sixteenths will be used for the wedge anchor for the small fifth five sixteenth wedge anchor I believe it's the same for this other type this was another type that I didn't talk about this was a another non removable uh, bolt this one is just hammered in and then you put a washer under the nut and then attach whatever you're gonna attach and then tighten that nut that won't come out and then there's other types of concrete screw. This is an off-brand uh, concrete screw there. Other than that, I'm not gonna install the plastic anchor for the TV bolt, TV uh, lag bolt, because I have another video on that. I've done that plenty of times, as well as the uh, flip toggle or snap toggle. These are also non-removable, as are the, uh, the toggle bolts. It's, it's actually removable, but this is non-reusable because you'll lose that toggle behind the wall. And then this one is non-reusable because that will snap in and then you won't be able to reuse that again. Uh, so that's non-removable. Uh, the lag shield, you might be able to, well, you'll take the bolt out and you might be able to get that lag shield out. Otherwise, you could just cut around that flange and then uh, put, put your uh, wall back all over that. I just want to say one more thing about using the small 3 16th inch uh, concrete screws because these are small enough to go into most uh, fixtures. You know, if you're going to put up some kind of uh, picture hanging hook or something like that or uh, brackets, often you'll have these, these small holes and then you won't be able to use them. Use the uh, quarter inch or larger to get in those holes. But the uh, 3 16th can fit into that, even though it's not as strong. But then again, if you're just hanging up a mirror or something, 
you don't need it to be able to hold up hundreds of pounds. All right, so in here I'm gonna start driving these in and we'll see how they work. <laughs> 